All right. Got some cafe. Oh, oh. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go make some liwa. Liwa. I just made como laan, and now I'm gonna make liwa. Liwa is laag laag in Tibuli. Woo! See you in a bit. Balik lang. Balik balik. So wonderful. Uh, I love how people are so outgoing when it comes to to learning. I'm gonna go say hey to the trekkers. Umar's checking out the drummer over here. I'm gonna go check out the trackers. So cool, wow. Oh, souvenir sticks. What's your kahoy? What's your name? Madula, sir. Madula? Yes, in Tibuli. Tibuli? So this is Madula, the wood. And they're selling sticks for only 30 pesos. That's really cool. Good for walking, no? Madula. Sounds like Dula, like play. Messiah. So you get a stick and you go play. Madula. Madula wood. Really nice. Oh, you even put Lake Halon in. Wow. Very cool. Cultural homestay, just across from the main tribal house. You can stay here, it's very cool. Um, again, positive vibes. So if you come here, bring positive vibes. And if you stay here and have the privilege to be here, respect it. Very cool. experience that was. Uh, I'm going to come back here in the future and check Lake Cologne because that's something I've been meaning to do. I have a lot of outdoor barcada and uh, it's exciting to see that if you do come here to check Lake Cologne, this is where you arrive, right here in this basketball court. And uh, yeah, I heard again they only allow 200 people per day to come through here. And as you can see, that's because this is a small community and it's important we respect that. So if you do come here, uh, interact, learn, care, leave no trace and enjoy yourself. Behind me where I had food, that's a Tabuli travel house. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, again, there's just so much vibrant culture here uh, down south in Mindanao. And this is a very comfortable area for you to come explore. Just contact the tourism office and rock and roll and have a good time. I don't want to disturb the photo. I'm gonna let, uh, let Tita do her thing. So I'll get out of here. <laughs> I have two questions. Yes. Question one, what do you call the bamboo here? Uh, we call it lasak in Tivoli. But what do you call the actual bamboo? What is it saying? Uh, they are saying that you have to cut us because you are, there are so many. <laughs> and look at it, no one touch it. It's still preserved. Yeah, yeah beautiful bamboo. They cut the bamboo. Second question, where are we going? Uh, we are going to the exit area of our uh, Nicolon Ecotourism Center. Yep.
Katia Kegi and Dioro. Oh, Abusaya. Oh, Kuyao, stupid. <laughs> you know, so actually, the more you can come together as a community and show people that you protect people who are visiting, and then the more that other people from other places, like Visayas, Luzon, Canada, Chodari, and Moktanawa, they're pretty much share, much share. And actually, you can just grow and grow and grow to, to actually help not just tourism, but a community as a whole. Because I think it feels good when you feel like you're safe, when you feel like you're safe. And like I said, I just want to say salama. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Pinion fish. The sweetest pineapple I ever tasted. Oh, this is Nanoi, and you are very Ilongo, right? Yeah, 100%. 100% from Miyago, and this is actually his place. What's the name of your place? Uh, it's Tudoro's Farm. Tudoro's, okay. Yeah, it's named after my late father. Cool. His name is uh, Tudoro. And this is a brand new place, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, almost uh, a little more than a year. Cool, and yeah. people can come here to eat and to see the farm? Yeah, they see the farm, they enjoy the farm, they, they enjoy the peace and quiet of the farm. Cool. And today, the peace and quiet of the yeah. Ulan. And it, it's, it came with the Ulan. Yeah, yeah, that's okay though. But uh, you also Actually, made... our tagline is uh, uh, experience <laughs> ultimate Ilongo hospitality. There you go, that's, that's the vibe we're going for. And I can see... I hope you do. One second. Oh, is that KBL? Yeah, yeah, KBL. Yeah. No way. Very Ilongo. Yeah, holy smokes, yeah. he's got Binango. Binanko. Binacol. Binacol. Oh, Chicken Binacol. Uh, KBO, which is Cad. Cadios. Cadios, Bravo, and Lanka. Oh, very good. I got I'm it. glad you know. Yeah. I know my Ido Ido, but he cooks. Some it. Filipinos don't know what KBI is. That's cool. <laughs> so, again, when you come down to this part of Mindanao, a lot of Ilongos around, and here's one who makes some cool stuff for the farm. So. Yeah. Thank you, Ernest. How long? Super up here. Super up here. <laughs> Yeah. Magic. <laughs> magic. Yeah, it's a magic potion. So what exactly is that? This is this is buku juice, buku juice with uh, blue ternate. Cool. Yeah. Just for the color. So if you didn't think tabuli was already magic enough, they have buko juice that turns blue. It tastes like blue buko. Yeah. Like some magic? Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going Lagao Lagao. That's yeah, correct. Yeah. Let's, let's explore the Kakawan. I like it. He actually, so. Have you been to? I've seen cacao before. That's It's actually a fruit, right? Yeah, it's, it's a fruit, true. but. Is it. Fruit is, is this like a good area to grow stuff? Like, Kabuli, the, the land is good? Yeah. Or? Actually, I, I started the farm and some of the farmers are hesitant to, to plant it because they don't know the, the, 
the potential of the cacao tree in here. Really? And then suddenly they see my trees growing and bearing fruit. You know what? Literally as he's saying that, look at this. Like They are everywhere. Literally everywhere. So these are all cacao, no? This yeah. is really... And cacao is actually a high value crop, right? Yeah. It's really... It's a high value crop. And it bears fruit all year round. Ah, like so how, how like just non-stop? Yeah, non-stop, yeah. Cool, I didn't know that actually, that's really interesting. That's why we have a non-stop supply of chocolate. It's forever. How, how long did it take, like, uh, so behind it starts, me? It starts bearing fruit uh, in, in 18 months. Really? Then so in, in two years time you'll have your first uh, harvest. No way, so this is yeah. like just a two-year-old tree. So how, when did when did you get your first harvest here? When did that like that was last year? Oh good. Yeah. So now I now now it's sea cat because it's cacao. <laughs> Slowly we our local version of churros. And there it is. The e ibus? ibus? Yeah, fried ibus. Fried ibus with manga and chocolate. And I guess I bet you know where the chocolate came from. <laughs> I bet you do. They should. Mm -hmm. ha. I got the fried zoom in. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bad joke. Don't steal food from Filipinos. That's your tourist tip of the day. Let me take care. It's like eating delicious butter. Mm. Mm. The best. How many we are? The farm though. Off roading. <laughs> Boom. 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 Cauliflower. We're having a great debate if this is cauliflower or broccoli. I'm not sure, but there's a massive field up here. Uh, everywhere you look around Tabuli, there's so much farming and uh, agriculture. It's awesome. We actually came up here because there's a road on the far side there. You can see it on the drone. And uh, it's going to go to Jensan. They're actually opening up more routes. That should be done in 2021. So. Kumar's fine, the drone, we're just hanging out. The temperature is awesome now. So I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. Uh, it has been a whirlwind 36 hours. We've been all over here in Tabuli. It's been amazing. Uh, we were at the Blaan yesterday. Uh, everything you're seeing right now is in South Cotabato. And actually for this five days, 
you're gonna see me and Kumar and uh, this big group of people. We're all going around to different parts of the Philippines. Um, some of the people I'm with are with the Tourism Promotions Board. A uh, few have backgrounds in sustainable tourism. Another guy was with the DNR before, and. I'm just here to learn and observe and interact and show you guys as well uh, some of the stuff that uh, you know is out there and as well some of the stuff that hopefully can be developed and uh, grow in a sustainable way. That's kind of the word of this trip, sustainable. Um, you know I've, I've been here for five and a half years but I still have so much to learn. I'm still a rookie when it comes to sustainable tourism so that's why I'm on this trip is just to get more educated and hopefully I, that you appreciate me sharing some of this with you. So we're gonna go now have a dinner with the Datus. That's really cool. And uh, cafe, July. You guys, are you us? <laughs> Manok. Manok. <laughs> We've had a really great day. I'm just getting tired, so I'm randomly filming stuff and talking about chicken. It's all good though. It's a Manok. Manok. It's a Manok. Manok again. Manok. <laughs> Manok. Actually, the chicken here is incredible. Like, the Tabuli really know how to cook Manok. So, if ever in the future, I'm going to learn how to cook one of those chickens over there because they are so good. Very sweet. <laughs> 